Welcome to Expert Mode, where real-world experts help us navigate your favorite video games. Today, we're playing the cooperative cooking simulation game, Overcooked. And to help us overcome the challenges of a busy kitchen, we are joined by cooking experts, Michael and Brian Voltaggio. The Voltaggio brothers are chefs, restaurant owners, and cookbook authors. Brian was a finalist on Top Chef and Top Chef Masters. Michael was the winner of Top Chef Season 6. Thanks for being here today, guys. Thanks for having us. Are you guys gamers? There's a lot more buttons now than what there used to be, so um, it might be a little bit more difficult. I'm not very good at it. Okay. I do enjoy it. <laughs> All right, let's go one, one. This is a recipe, right? Three onions make a soup. Is that a common right, recipe? So yeah, this sure, one. if you're making <laughs> and, um, uh, onion so have, soup, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> the layout of this kitchen mm -hmm. is yeah. awful. How do you lay out a kitchen for maximum efficiency? And what is wrong here? Well, I know? feel like running all the way down to <laughs> that side of the kitchen to get to your cutting board is not efficient. You shouldn't have to walk that far in a professional kitchen. Mm -hmm. Everything should be around you. Mm -hmm. You know, having your mise en place, everything in its place. Mm. Would you ever have two people in a kitchen only? No. <laughs> <laughs> you just got another order. I mean, yeah. ticket rail is filling up. So where do I go? Do I need to wash the dishes now or no? Uh, no, don't worry okay. about the dishes. Let's throw uh, two more onions in that pot there because you got them chopped up oh, already. Oh, gotcha. So you're working together. See, this is, what, but this is yeah. what helps. Teamwork. Yeah. yeah. So I'm guy with glasses. Yes. I'm going to the board. Uh, sure. Yeah. I'll put, start uh, putting onions over here okay, for you. Okay. Cool. I'm on it. Oh, mise en place, chef. Everything in its place. This is great. Are all of your ingredients ready? Yes, thank We're you. We're close. Good I got the dirty station. plate while oh, you're awesome. working that. That's great. Look at this. We're like a well oiled <laughs> machine. That's how you get orders out. You guys Russian. watched us do it first. <laughs> Watch this move. Oh, I dropped a dirty oh, plate. I picked this up. It. Yeah. Ooh, that. uh -huh. That's great. Now I come back to the dirty dish. I've heard things like a chef knowing how to make a good soup. Like it seems like a very simple pedestrian thing, but is like something much more complicated. I mean, when you're building a soup, you're building layers of flavor. Yeah. And so in this particular case, onion, onion, this only and has onion. onions. Yeah. So it is layers <laughs> of onions, apparently. So now we drive the bus to here? I think it's a food truck. We drive a food truck to a restaurant. Yeah. Now tell me about the efficiency of that. <laughs> Just in case everything goes wrong, you have a food truck out back. So here's an interesting situation. Have you ever worked in a restaurant where there's pedestrians literally walking nope. in the middle of your restaurant? I feel like that's a hazard. A lot of food yeah. events that we do are we outside like this, where there's people walking around constantly. Like food okay. festival -y kind of things? This is a food festival, Brian. Oh, it is. Ah, oh, I see. Normally, this is where people are asking Brian if they can take a picture. Hey, get out of my way. I'm trying, yeah. Can you explain a little bit about the expediting process? Because that's that's something I see on cooking shows, but I don't fully understand so how when you're, it works. Oh, when you're expediting, yeah. you're I basically... Need to, I need to put it on the fire. Okay, that's, yeah. that's, that's, one that one was, person oh, yeah, talks in the that. kitchen at a time. <laughs> that is okay. true. The chef talks. Okay. In this case, I'll play the chef. I'm expediting. I'm telling him where oh, to I take that food. Uh, so, okay, uh, soup's burning. Can you oh, yeah, go to that? Where is the sink in this one? They don't listen to the chef. Why is the sink all the way on the other side of the kitchen? Now the game starts you off with soup. We're was there like a dish that you started with that you have like a soft spot for as like so, like something you grew attached to when you were like starting your cooking career or something that like I mean soup is definitely one that you should start with because it teaches you how to build layers of flavor. Mm -hmm. I actually on New Year's Eve once burned all the soup at like 5:45 and we opened at 6. Oh god. And it was potato soup and actually took the mashed potatoes that we were supposed to use <laughs> and cooked it blended them into water and served that as the potato soup and it was actually really good. Whoa. <laughs> you oh, need it. I'm going to pass it to you. Here, 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 here. I'm giving it to you. Take it, chop it. No, you gotta chop it, chef. Oh, on the chop, dishes, chop. on the cutting board. Oh, yes. yeah. Whoa, what's this happening? Is, Why is the kitchen failing. moving? That's why. No, oh, how this often is crazy. does your kitchen move? <laughs> We're on a boat. Oh, I've done this before. Your I, soup is burning. Oh, that's oh, a the kitchen's fire. almost on fire. Oh, oh, you got a fire. Oh, 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 fire. Oh, 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 you can hand it to me. This is amazing. I'm over here dying right now. I know. I'm burning to death right now. I'm trying to help you. How do I get this out? Can you pry it out? I'm trying. Here. You are the worst brother ever. This is insane. Look, I saved you. I saved you. Who cares about the food? Look at all the orders that we have. This is called being in the shit. When you're actually in the shit, how do you get out? Well, like, what are there are there tactics for like being able to like move through orders more? Quickly? You have to go have ticket to by mushroom. ticket. When you have oh. like a bunch of tickets on the board, it's better to just get one out, then get another, then get another, instead of trying to cook bits and pieces of all the other sure. tickets. So, Brian, you could do that. So stack me up some tomatoes, man. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we just went out of business. <laughs> oh, we got negative. negative two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> we did go out of business. Is there like a disaster in the kitchen that, that you remember? That was like something that just like you know your stomach sinks when you realize like oh crap this happened. Um, 
When I was uh, 16, I was in charge of loading the Thanksgiving turkeys into the slow cooker overnight. Uh -huh. There's two settings, there's a cook and a hold. And I set the hold, but I didn't set the cook. So I put them in and basically these frozen turkeys, because it was like, you know, it wasn't really a high-end place, it was like my first job. But they uh, slowly defrosted and then overnight essentially festered. Oh. Well, let's move away from this uh, nuclear power plant, because I yeah. feel like that's kind of gross. Okay. So let's go this way to the metropolis over here. That's important though, location is yes. one of the key elements in opening like a successful open restaurant. Yeah. Too. yeah, exactly. I mean, do you want to go to the power plant to eat or yeah. do you want to come to this like cool city? Yeah. Have you ever worked in a restaurant that was just like a good restaurant but shitty location? Mm -hmm. Where was it? Or you can't say. <laughs> I can't say. You mm -hmm. can't say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. <laughs> All right, so we're making soup. So yeah, but here's All right, the I'm problem. getting you tomatoes, and Great. you're going to the cutting board, chef. Yeah, here's the problem. Here, do we, I have to bring them all the way over yeah, to you? Come and on. There's no room. <laughs> there's no room to move around here. We're gonna get. Oh, way. I see what's going on now. Yeah. Oh. This is gonna be. This is gonna be super rough. inefficient. Yeah. You guys could oh. just keep walking in a circle. Like yes. Yeah, so keep going. Keep going. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> round and round we go. Yes, keep round. <laughs> oh no, that's a tomato. I need to. Yes. Oh, there, get out of the way. Come on. Oh no. Well, I'm just gonna go around then. That soup's done. I'm gonna grab that soup. Yeah, you're supposed to grab that. I'm gonna do that. Oh no, no, no. To stay behind you. When you yeah, walk yes. up behind, behind somebody you. with something hot, you behind stay behind you. Behind you, you. Behind you chef. Behind you. Behind you. <laughs> I'm gonna go clean this. Yes, go clean it. I got the tomato. Don't worry. Keep oh, cleaning. Thanks. That's all you're good at, chef. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no, correct me. That seems like a thing. Hey, I'm out of the way. Out of the way. All right, I'm moving away. away. Wash that dish while you're up there. Right. Do something. All right. You got time to lean. You got time to clean. I, what's the worst that you've hurt yourself in the kitchen? I frostbit my finger in liquid nitrogen. Frost? Yeah, frostbite was the worst. God. It was so cold that I couldn't feel it happening. The next day, my finger turned black. And like almost it. fell off. That I saw gross. it. It was gross. Here's a question too. How often are you like nicking yourself? When you see somebody that's cut and burned themselves a yeah. lot, yeah. that's somebody that lacks finesse. The scars and the battle wounds don't mean you worked harder. Yeah. It means that you're like a sloppy chef. So here's the thing with this level. There's an earthquake it's so and it's going to split the kitchen in half. Okay. What is going on? <laughs> you know, this is a much more right, efficient kitchen. Bugs. Layout. Yeah. Aside from the fact there's okay, an earthquake that happens about every 30 seconds. When you've had a long day of cooking uh, in a big old earthquake kitchen, what do you wind up cooking for yourself when it's just like, I just need food, I just need sustenance, I've been cooking all day. Well, if you're cooking in a burger earthquake restaurant, the sure. last thing you want to have is a is a burger afterwards. So yeah. You're going to have something completely different. I'll eat like scrambled eggs or like a turkey mm. sandwich. Uh -huh. Pretty boring stuff. We are going to try versus mode. Uh, Michael and I are on one restaurant. We are connecting Brian features and Reka well. are on yeah. the other. And uh, yeah, we're just going to see how well we can run this restaurant. Okay, we're split up. Okay. Okay. You guys already know what's going on, on here. So this is like three mushrooms. Yeah. Okay, okay. No, this, this is, is perfect. Mushrooms. So you need three mushrooms. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, it's a conveyor belt. Great. Wait, why did he get that? Because oh. he got it. Get down there. Get the mushroom first, the Fortitos. Yeah, boom. Chop, 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 chop. What else? What else? I, you need more mushrooms? I need more mushrooms. Okay, Where? I need them to get us Actually, I don't have any mushrooms coming at me. Here, mushroom. Yes, oh, sir. fucking cool. Feature. Check, there you go. Great. Go. No, no, you oh, can't take my mushroom off my board. <laughs> yes, you can. I chopped it. Give me the mushroom. Oh, I got it. I'm going to move that aside. I'm going to move that aside. Here, Brian. Oh. Right. No! Oh, no. I got fire. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Give me oh, here's an my onion. signature. Here. Give, give me an onion. Oh, my whole kitchen's on fire. Take it. Wait, there this is go. good What's strategy. This is good strategy. I'm going to throw all their stuff. I'm putting all their stuff back. I'm just going to let the place burn. I'm going to put your produce back on the conveyor belt. How do I do this? So this is sabotage. I need another onion. Yes, chef. I'll what take his. Okay. I can't put it out. There we go. You burn it. You turn to burn my kitchen down. Well, I can chop this my mushroom soup there. I chopped this for you. Oh, bring that mushroom soup. See oh, that? I'm putting okay. other stuff on there. Cutting Get your board. mushroom cool. out of my. <laughs> well, we need the mushroom because our tickets are these. There you go. Right? Are we blue? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, there's that onion. I can't use that. The mushroom? Yeah. Our there. tickets are up here. Tomato. Oh, I thought we we're red no, the whole exactly. time. <laughs> That's why. That's I'm making what a whole thing. Yeah, that's why I keep giving you mushrooms. This ticket system is not right. <laughs> it's this okay. Sucks. It's okay. Uh, right, so we're on mushrooms. Yeah, we're on the guests, mushrooms. The guests don't care about your all's drama. I'm telling you that right now. I know, I know. I was, I was trying this. to give them. What drama. do you need? Tell I me need, what you need. I need, uh, I need one I, more I mushroom. Think, <laughs> what you're blowing up here is good. I just got to get it. I just got to coordinate it. You need to work a little faster. I need a tomato and I need a mushroom. Okay, tomato. I got soup. What else, Chef? I need uh, I need communication. Tomato is what I need. I need a clean plate. Clean plate, yes, Chef. And I need a shit it's ton of mushrooms. Shit ton mushroom, of mushrooms. I don't know that that is an official shit. term, but <laughs> I will give you a shit ton of mushrooms. Thank you. There's a soup right there ready, ready to go. Oh, look at that. That's teamwork right there. Yeah. Tomato. How do I give it oh, to I don't need another tomato. I got tomato. Uh, I, need some, I need a third mushroom. Yeah, put it down. Put it down on top of that onion. Yeah, sure. Just chopping that. Got it. Mushroom. Great. There you go. Great. And I need a clean plate. Clean plate. Yes, chef. Okay. 
Right. Time's up. All right, see how we do. <laughs> we did very badly. <laughs> it's okay. But for not knowing that which for side our tickets were on. <laughs> Considering the fact that I was actually working for you at one moment, because I really thought that I was on the red team, we made it happen. Well, at least three orders after yeah. we figured out that we we're actually working in the right kitchen. Exactly. Yeah, it's 120 to 32. Is this more fun or stressful for you? This has the same anxiety as yes. working in a real restaurant for Absolutely. sure. Wow. Does it, when you, things are not happening fast enough for you, just like in a real kitchen, where you're you're trying to hit the button like move faster, chef, and it's not happening. Yeah. 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 That same anxiety uh, certainly comes through yeah. in this game. It's Good job, developer. Yeah. Right. How would you um, like reinterpret any of these like very simple dishes in a way that that you might find more interesting? Tomato yeah. soup could have been finished like a little creme fraiche swirl mm -hmm. or something. Maybe some okay. chopped cilantro over the top. You know, something or basil. Sure. What about a Let's different a kip, kitchen function? Whether it's like a dishwasher okay. or like a scrap something. all the plants for these kitchens, completely rebuild them, yeah. put everything in a little bit more efficient <laughs> manner Great. so you can actually get the tickets out on time. Yeah. And, okay. and I, we would put ads out for more employees, yeah. for sure. Okay. We so. mostly hire humans to be chefs, too. That's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you again to our guest experts, Michael and Brian Voltaggio. If there's a game you'd like to see us play, let us know in the comments. And thanks so much for watching. I'm a vegetarian, and I would have been pretty sad to eat at these restaurants. <laughs> Why? You could have had lettuce or tomato. <laughs> Hi, I'm Reka from College Humor. Click here to subscribe, click here for other fun stuff, and thank you so much for watching. I love my job and I'm definitely not trapped in this video. Things are great.